In this lesson, we're going to learn how to calculate prices in different currencies using exchange rate values. To guide us today, we're going to be using some data from the most recent issue of The Economist magazine on exchange rates for four countries' currencies against the U.S. dollar. In our table on the right here, we have the exchange rate of the U.S. dollar expressed in four different currencies, the Chinese yuan, the Japanese yen, the British pound, and the Canadian dollar. I'm going to put some symbols for these currencies here so we can recognize them as we use them throughout the lesson. So now I've got four symbols for the currencies we'll be referring to in this lesson. Let's look at the scenarios here and then we'll show how to do the calculations to find the price of each of these goods or services described in a foreign currency. The first problem we have is to calculate the price of a $150 bus tour of Los Angeles to a Japanese tourist in yen, Japanese yen. Go over here to do number one. To find the price of an American product in yen, we must multiply the price in dollars US dollars times the yen dollar exchange rate. In other words, multiply the price in dollars by however many yen there are per dollar, which we are given in our table here. We know that the yen dollar exchange rate is 121 yen per dollar. So we can multiply the price of $150 by the exchange rate of 121 yen to get the price of this bus tour expressed in terms of yen. Let's do that calculation now. We've got the $150 for the bus ticket times the exchange rate of 121 yen gives us a yen price of 18,150 yen. We'll put that into our answer here. So the price of the $150 bus tour to a Japanese tourist equals 18,000 150 yen. We found this by multiplying the dollar price by the yen exchange rate. Let's move on to number two now, which involves a slightly different method to find the answer for. We're now looking at the price to an American businessman in US dollars of a six pound beer in a British pub. So we want to find the price in US dollars to do that, we must multiply the price in pounds by the dollar per pound exchange rate. Now, here's where things get a little complicated. The table does not tell us the dollar per pound exchange rate. The table tells us the pound per dollar exchange rate. We know that one dollar equals one dollar U.S. equals 0 0.65 British pounds. What we want to know, however, is how many dollars each pound equals. To do that, we must isolate the pound sign by dividing both sides by 0 0.65. And this calculation will give us the number of dollars per pound. Let's find that now. Take 1, divide it by 0 0.65, and we get a pound exchange rate of 1.54 dollars. So we know that $1.54 US equals one British pound. Now we can find the price in US dollars by multiplying the price in pounds, that's six pounds, times the dollar per pound exchange rate, which is 1.54. This will give us the price of this six pound beer expressed in terms of dollars. Multiply six pounds times the number of dollars per pound of 1.54 and we get a price to an American businessman of a six pound beer in a British pub of nine dollars and 24 cents US. We can put that into our table now. So a six pound beer in a British pub is the equivalent of nine dollars and 24 cents US. The difference between this calculation and the one we had to do for number one was that in order to find it, we first had to find out how much one British pound was worth in terms of dollars. This required one additional step to solve this problem. Let's move on to number three. Now we want to know the price of a car that costs 2.5 million yen 
to a Canadian in terms of Canadian dollars. He, this is going to require another step beyond that which we have seen in previous problems. So you want to know the price in Canadian dollars. To do this, you must multiply the price in yen by the Canadian dollar exchange rate against the yen. Now this definitely is not included in our table. All we have in the table is the number of yen per dollar. We know that 121 yen equals one dollar US. We also know that 1.31 dollars Canadian equals one dollar US. Since both of these exchange rates equal one dollar US, they must therefore equal each other. So to find the number of Canadian dollars per yen, we can set the two equal to each other. We can say that 121 yen equals 1.31 dollars Canadian. We want to know how many Canadian dollars per yen. To find that, we can divide both sides by 121 and this will give us how much one yen is worth in terms of Canadian dollars. Let's do that calculation now. 1.31 Canadian dollars equals 121 yen. Therefore, one yen equals 1.31 divided by 121, which gives us 0 0.0108 Canadian dollars per yen. 0 0.0108. Now we can go back to our original problem. We want to find the price in Canadian dollars of a 2.5 million yen automobile. To do that, we can take the 2.5 million yen and multiply it by the number of Canadian dollars per yen, which is 0 0.0108. The result will give us the Canadian dollar price of the 2.5 million yen automobile. Let's do that calculation now. We could take 2,500,000 and multiply this by the exchange rate of the yen in terms of Canadian dollars, which is 0 0.0108. That gives us a result of 27,000 Canadian dollars. So the 2.5 million yen car will cost a Canadian 27,000 Canadian dollars. 27,000. Canadian dollars. We got that by first finding the value of a yen expressed in terms of Canadian dollars, which we had to use the value of the US dollar in terms of yen and the US dollar in terms of Canadian dollars in order to find. We set these equal to each other and we calculated the yen exchange rate. Moving down to the last problem here, we've got a five Canadian dollar bottle of maple syrup in terms of British pounds. Let's do number four down here. If we want to know the price in pounds of a five Canadian dollar bottle of maple syrup, we must multiply the price in Canadian dollars by the number of pounds per Canadian dollar. This is also an exchange rate that our table does not give us. However, what we do know is that 1.31 Canadian dollars equals one US dollar. And we know that 0 0.65 pounds equals one US dollar. Therefore, these two must be equal to each other. So we can set those equal to each other. So we know that 1.31 Canadian dollars equals 0 0.65 British pounds. In order to find out how much one Canadian dollar costs in terms of British pounds, we can divide both sides by 1.31. And we'll get the value of a Canadian dollar in terms of British pounds, which is 0 0.5 pounds. Now we can find the price of a five Canadian dollar bottle of Canadian maple syrup in terms of British pounds. So the price in pounds, we'll do this down here, equals the price in Canadian dollars, which is five times the British pound Canadian dollar exchange rate, which is 0 0.5 pounds per 
Canadian dollar. This gives us a price of this $5 Canadian maple syrup bottle of 2.5 British pounds. So this equals 5 Canadian dollars. So a 5 Canadian dollar bottle of maple syrup will cost a British consumer 2.5 pounds. In order to find that, we first had to find out what the exchange rate of Canadian dollars in terms of British pounds was. And to do that, we used the data from our table showing the value of US dollars in terms of both pounds and Canadian dollars. So in this exercise, we have learned how to calculate prices in different currencies using exchange rate information from an exchange rate table. Each of these problems required slightly different steps in order to come up with the answer. But you should be comfortable using each of these methods in order to calculate prices in different currencies. Here we go. One step back.